Hello there, this is Vivi Cameron here and in this video I'm going to show you how to put together this card design that has been created using the new Spellbinders interactive dice designed by Becca Ficken. To make this card we are going to need three pieces of cardstock. Each piece measures 5 by 7 inches. Now I'm going to grab one of these pieces and the main die designed to die cut the mechanism of this card. So it's this one here, and now we are going to place it like so over the paper, aligning this edge in the top edge with the edges of the paper. So pay attention to the position of the die on the paper, and then using low tack tape, we are going to affix that die temporarily to the paper to do the die cutting. So as simple as that, we got one of the shutters done. Now we need to align these two holes here with the two little holes that are in the die. I hope you can see that here better. And the side of your die have to be aligned with the side of the paper as well. Then use low tack tape to keep the die in place and run this again through the die cutting machine. Okay, the second shutter is done and I'm going to make a third one and all I need to do is to repeat the process. So I'm going to align the die with those two holes in the die cut piece. I'm going to make sure that the die in the front is aligned with the edge of the cardstock and I'm going to die cut this again. Okay, all the die cutting for this piece is done. So you can see there the three parts of the mechanism and now all you have to do is to fold over the scoring lines created by the die and I want you to fold them towards the back of the piece like so and you will do the same with these scoring lines here as well like that. Do this slowly, this is the real time, okay, I'm doing this so you can see your mechanism just there. Now I'm going to grab the other piece of cardstock and we are going to glue that mechanism over that piece of cardstock. To do that, we need to add glue only to the tiny little flaps in the back that are these ones here. So let me show you this better. We are going to use this die cut piece with these little flaps folded towards the back and we are going to use only liquid adhesive. And I'm going to apply that liquid adhesive only around the edges of that little circle die cut in that piece, just like that. And I'm going to allow that glue to dry. We don't want this glue to smear underneath the die cut, gluing other parts that we don't want to adhere in that moment. So you can also use a piece of cardstock to spread that glue like so. So when you place it over your other piece, it's not going to squeeze all over the place, right? So the glue is almost dry. And then I'm just going to align these two pieces like so. Make sure that these little flaps are all towards the back. Do this slowly, holding the paper and keeping everything aligned and then press down to adhere those little flaps to the background piece. Okay, because the paper has memory, he will try to be flat, but you are the boss and you are going to move the mechanism one or two times until it gets shaped and you will see the mechanism coming to life really easy. If you feel that your piece is not properly adhered to the background, press down again until you are 100% sure because that's key. We want this to be one single piece. Okay, with the mechanism done, all we have to do is to decorate this. We need to cover the mechanism edges because as you can see here, the die creates embossed images on the paper or embossing letters and things that we don't want to see in the front of the card. So we are going to use this other piece of cardstock to die cut a frame. There is a die in the set that will cut the frame and to die cut that frame, I prefer to make a template and to do that I just use a piece of cardstock that measures 5 inches by 7 inches and I fold it in half like so. Then I'm going to fold it again like so. 
So this piece of cardstock measures exactly the same than the piece I need to die cut. And you will see that the die has these indentations that are guides to properly center this on your piece. Of course, you can trace those lines on your cardstock if you want to, but I prefer to do a template. So I'm going to die cut this. And once I have this done, I can use this as a guide to place the die in the center of that window. Or I can also use it as a guide to mark the area in which I need to place the die to do the die cutting. So once this is die cut, this will fit perfectly over that window and my mechanism is going to move. Okay, to adhere the frame to the card, I want you to keep your mechanism up and then you can feel free to add glue over any area of the card front that is flat. And we are going to keep the things that way to adhere the frame. So I'm aligning all the edges of the frame and then I press down and I make sure that this frame is completely adhered in place. Okay, there is a die set that will cut that frame and also add a beautiful decorative edge that is this one here i'm going to be listing this die in the video description and also in my blog and i didn't want to show you this first because i really wanted to show you a very basic interactive car base but there are different ways to decorate it and this is one of them i could not resist to bring this die here and show you this die cut detail I have made other projects using this die or this decorative frame that is so gorgeous. And of course you can die cut these in different colors. You can also just glue one of these panels over the square frame or you can also create that scallop frame. But the sky is the limit and when I say it's the limit it's because it's always the limit. You have many options to do this and you can make very clean and simple looking cards or you can also add as many decorative elements as you want. I want to show you here also how that die cut frame will perform in other kind of cards. These are five by seven inches cards as well. And for those I use Tim Holtz dies. These cards are on my blog and you can see how gorgeous that decorative frame is and how well it works with these completely different supplies just from different brands. And I'm going to be linking the blog post for those cards as well in the video description, just in case you want to see it. Then I wasn't sure if I wanted to add this frame to this card because it looks okay without it. But I did anyway to show you all those intricate die cutting possibilities. And there is a die that will cut a pull up tab, but I didn't use it today. Just because I need to find a way to add that to the card and to make it fit in a five by seven inches envelope. Okay, if you just got the die set and you are wondering how to assemble the butterflies, I will advise you to die cut the butterflies or the solid butterflies in one color and die cut any other piece out of two different colors. I use white and gold and then I easily identify the parts once they were die cut. So I assembled the butterflies and I also added behind them another extra butterfly die cut out of Simon's stamp gold cardstock. This defo added another dimension to those butterflies. Then I decided to add the sentiments attached to a piece of acetate. So I added glue behind the sentiments. I allowed the glue to dry a little bit and then I added that sentiment to the acetate. Then I open it the mechanism and I stick this next to this folding piece here, just next to that. And those acetate banners are three quarters of an inch wide and they are enough long to be stuck behind the frame. The only key factor there is to stick the banners next to the folding piece in the mechanism because you don't want them to show up in the front of the car when you close the mechanism. 
So you have to do that with the sentiments in the first and second window, but this one here can be aligned with the bottom of that front frame and you won't have any problem. So there you go. This is pretty much all the work I did for this card. Of course, there are many, many options. This is just a very basic idea. Last but not least, I also want to share with you a couple of super easy and quick projects made using the die cut butterflies that you can also make using this die set. You will find a similar die set design, but it includes flowers and it has been designed to create A2 card bases or C6 card bases as they are called in America. In the collection, there is also a die set that will create different flowers and decorative elements for the cards. And you will also find in the collection the frame die. And you have seen a little bit of this die set in this video because I use it to make the frame of this card. And today I use Butterfly Bliss. And this is the die set that will allow you to create a 5 by 7 inches interactive card. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel or visit my blog for more ideas and inspiration. Thank you very much for watching and happy crafting. Bye.